everyone, and welcome to another episode of Driving Insights Podcast by M5 Management Services, where we cover ways for your fixed operations department to gain efficiency, customer retention, and long-term profitability. I'm your host, Tim Harkins, brand manager here at M5 Management Services, and on today's show, we'll talk about the top reasons dealerships are losing service customers and how to address them, including the importance of convenient hours, effective phone skills, competitive pricing strategies, balancing speed with quality service, and overcoming customer indifference. So buckle up, you're listening to Driving Insights. Now, before we start today's episode, I've got urgent news about the Complete Service Manager Workshop. There's only five seats remaining for this game-changing event. Led by industry expert Lee Harkins, this five-day intensive workshop will transform your service department. You'll master advanced financial strategies, logistical solutions, and customer experience techniques you can implement immediately. But time is running out. With only five spots left, this is your last chance to join. Don't miss this opportunity to turn your department into a powerhouse of efficiency and profitability. Head over to www.m5ms.com now and grab one of the final seats. When they're gone, they're gone. Act fast to secure your spot in this career-defining workshop. Now on to the show. So let's start our conversation with convenient hours of operation. Time is a precious commodity in our fast-paced society. As service providers, we must recognize that our customers' schedules are becoming increasingly demanding. The traditional 9-to-5 workday is no longer the norm for many, and this shift has profound implications for how we operate our businesses, particularly in the automotive service industry. Consider the typical scenario. A customer notices an issue with their vehicle, but they're unable to bring it in for service during regular business hours due to their own work commitments. They might try to squeeze in a visit during their lunch break only to find long wait time that forces them to leave without getting the necessary service. This frustration can easily lead them to seek alternatives, potentially never returning to your dealership. To address this challenge, we need to adapt our hours of operation to better align with our customers' needs. This might mean extending our weekday hours, staying open later in the evening to accommodate those who work traditional daytime shifts. But it doesn't stop there. Weekend availability is becoming increasingly crucial. We've actually helped quite a few dealerships tackle this issue. Some have found success in alternative scheduling, like 410s or 312s for their employees. It's all about finding that sweet spot where you're available for your customers without burning out your team. Every dealership is unique, so it's worth exploring what works best for your specific situation and customer base. Saturday service has become an expectation rather than a luxury for many customers. It provides an opportunity for those who simply can't make it during the week to get their vehicles serviced without disrupting their work schedules. Some forward-thinking dealerships are even considering Sunday hours, recognizing that this additional flexibility can be a significant differentiator in a competitive market. However, extending hours isn't just about being open longer, it's about being available when our customers need us most. This might mean offering early morning drop-off services for those who want to leave their car before work and pick it up in the evening. Or it could involve implementing a night drop system, allowing customers to leave their vehicles after hours and have them serviced first thing in the morning. The key is to think creatively about how we can make our services more accessible. For instance, some dealerships have found success with mobile services, bringing basic maintenance and repairs directly to customers' homes or workplaces. This level of convenience can be a game changer, especially for busy professionals or those with limited transportation options. It's important to note that extending hours of operation isn't without its challenges. It requires careful planning, staffing adjustments, and potentially increased overhead costs. However, The potential benefits in terms of customer retention and satisfaction can far outweigh these initial hurdles. Every dealership has its own unique set of circumstances from local market conditions to staff availability. 
That's why we often work closely with our clients to develop tailored scheduling solutions. We can help analyze your specific situation, considering factors like peak customer demand times and staff preferences, to create a schedule that maximizes both customer satisfaction and operational efficiency. It's all about finding that perfect balance that works best for your particular dealership. Now, when implementing extended hours, communication is crucial. Make sure your customers are aware of your new availability. Update your website, social media profiles, and Google business listings to reflect the new hours. Consider running targeted campaigns to inform your existing customer base about the extended service times. Remember, convenience isn't just about being open longer. It's about creating a seamless, stress-free experience for your customers. This might involve offering online appointment booking systems that allow customers to schedule service at their convenience, even outside of business hours. Or it could mean providing transportation solutions such as shuttle services or loaner vehicles to minimize disruption to your customers' daily routines. By prioritizing convenience and adapting our hours of operation to better serve our customers' needs, we're not just solving a logistical problem. We're demonstrating our commitment to their satisfaction. This customer-centric approach can be a powerful tool in building loyalty and differentiating ourselves in a crowded marketplace. Next, we'll talk about how phone skills lead to that crucial first impression. In an age dominated by digital communication, it might be tempting to underestimate the importance of phone skills. However, for automotive service departments, the phone remains a critical touchpoint with customers. It's often the first point of contact, setting the tone for the entire service experience. Unfortunately, many dealerships are falling short in this crucial area, potentially driving customers away before they even set foot in the service bay. When a customer calls, they're often seeking immediate assistance or information. Every unanswered ring increases their frustration and decreases their likelihood of a positive interaction. If the call is answered, but the customer is immediately placed on hold, it sends a message that their time isn't valued. And if they can't reach a service advisor at all, it's a missed opportunity to schedule an appointment or address a concern, potentially losing that customer to a competitor who's more responsive. Improving phone skills start with understanding that every call is an opportunity. It's a chance to build rapport, provide excellent customer service, and potentially secure new business. This mindset shift is crucial for creating a culture of phone excellence within your service department. Training is key to developing strong phone skills. Service advisors should be coached on proper phone etiquette, including how to greet callers professionally, how to listen actively, and how to address customer concerns effectively. They should be equipped with the knowledge to answer common questions about services, pricing, and availability. One critical skill is the ability to gather essential information efficiently. This includes getting the caller's name, contact details, and the reason for their call. Service advisors should be trained to ask the right questions to understand the customer's needs fully. This not only helps in providing better services, but also creates a personalized experience that customers appreciate. Another crucial aspect of phone skills is the ability to set appointments effectively. Service advisors should be adept at guiding customers through the scheduling process, offering convenient time slots, and clearly explaining what the customer can expect during their visit. This includes providing information about estimated service times, any preparations such as removing personal items from the vehicle, and available amenities like shuttle services or waiting areas. It's also important to address the issue of hold times. While it may not always be possible to eliminate holds entirely, there are strategies to minimize their impact. This could include implementing a callback system where customers can opt in to receive a return call rather than waiting on hold. Another option is to ensure that hold music or messages are pleasant and informative, perhaps providing updates on current service specials or maintenance tips. Technology can play a significant role in improving phone interactions as well. Modern phone systems can provide valuable data on call volumes, peak times, and average hold times. This information can be used to optimize staffing levels and ensure that there are enough service advisors available to handle calls during busy periods. Additionally, consider implementing a customer relationship management, or CRM, system that integrates with your phone system. This can provide service advisors with instant access to customer histories, vehicle information, and previous service records as soon as the call comes in. 
With this information at their fingertips, advisors can provide more personalized and efficient service, further enhancing the customer experience. It's crucial to regularly monitor and evaluate phone performance. This could involve recording calls for training purposes, conducting mystery shopper exercises, or implementing post-call surveys to gather customer feedback. These measures can help identify areas for improvement and recognize exemplary performance. We found that many dealerships benefit from a little outside perspective on this. Our team at M5 has actually developed some pretty effective training programs for BDCs and service advisors, focusing on those all-important soft skills. It's really amazing how much of a difference the right training can make in turning routine calls into opportunities to build real connections with customers. Remember, the goal of excellent phone skills isn't just to answer calls quickly. It's to create a positive, productive interaction that leaves the customer feeling valued and eager to do business with your dealership. By investing in this often overlooked aspect of customer service, you can set your service department apart from the competition and build stronger, more lasting relationships with your customers. Striking the right balance in pricing is up next. Pricing is a delicate balancing act in the automotive service industry. On one hand, you need to cover your costs and generate profit. On the other, you're operating in a highly competitive market where customers are increasingly price sensitive and have numerous options at their disposal. The key is to develop a pricing strategy that's both competitive and sustainable, focusing on value rather than just the bottom line. One of the most effective approaches is to be highly competitive on the most recognized services. These are services that customers are most likely to shop around for and compare prices. Oil changes, for example, are a prime opportunity to attract customers with competitive pricing. While you may not make a significant profit on these services directly, they serve as a gateway to build relationships with customers and identify additional service needs. Consider the psychology behind pricing these common services. Customers often use these prices as a benchmark to judge the overall value and fairness of the service provider. If your oil change prices are significantly higher than local competitors, customers might assume that all of your services are overpriced, even if that's not the case. By offering competitive prices on these high-visibility services, you create a positive first impression that can lead to long-term customer relationships. Tire services present another opportunity to differentiate your pricing strategy. Many dealerships charge for tire rotations, but this is a service that could potentially be offered for free. The cost to your business is relatively low, but the perceived value to the customer is high. Free tire rotations can serve as an incentive to bring customers back to your service department regularly, providing opportunities for additional service recommendations and fostering loyalty. Engine light diagnostics are another area where pricing strategy can make a significant impact. Many customers are frustrated by high diagnostic fees, especially when they're unsure of the severity of the problem. Offering free initial engine light diagnostics can remove a significant barrier to entry for these customers. While you may not charge for the initial diagnosis, this approach allows you to get the customer's vehicle into your service bay, where you can identify any necessary repairs and present a comprehensive solution. When setting prices for more complex repairs and services, it's important to consider the total value proposition rather than just the raw numbers. Customers are often willing to pay a premium for quality work, excellent customer service, and peace of mind. Your pricing should reflect the expertise of your technicians, the quality of the parts you use, and the overall experience you provide. This is an area where a lot of dealerships could use a helping hand. Our team at M5 has actually worked with numerous service departments to fine-tune their pricing strategies. We can dive into your specific market, analyze your costs, and help you develop a pricing structure that not only attracts customers, but also reflects the true value of your services. It's about finding that sweet spot where your prices are competitive, yet still reflect the premium experience you're offering. Transparency is crucial when it comes to pricing as well. Customers appreciate clear, upfront pricing that doesn't come with hidden fees or unexpected charges. Consider implementing a menu pricing system for common services where customers can easily see what's included and what they'll pay for. For more complex repairs, provide detailed estimates that break down parts and labor costs. This level of transparency builds trust and can help justify your pricing to customers who might be comparing your services to lower-cost alternatives. 
It's also worth considering the implementation of a tiered pricing structure for certain services. This approach allows customers to choose from different levels of service based on their needs and budget. For example, you might offer a basic oil change package alongside a premium package that includes additional services like tire rotations, fluid top-offs, or multi-point inspections. This strategy not only provides options for price-sensitive customers, but also creates opportunities for those willing to pay more for comprehensive service. Loyalty programs and service packages can be effective tools in your pricing strategy as well. These programs can provide added value to customers while encouraging repeat business. For example, you might offer a discounted rate on oil changes for customers who commit to a certain number of services per year. Or you could create maintenance packages that bundle services at a discounted rate, providing value to the customer while ensuring steady business for your service department. When evaluating your pricing strategy, it's crucial to look beyond individual transactions and consider the lifetime value of the customer. A customer who feels they're receiving fair, transparent pricing is way more likely to return for future services and recommend your dealership to others. This long-term perspective can justify more competitive pricing on certain services as the real value lies in building a lasting relationship with customers. Regular competitive analysis is essential to maintain an effective pricing strategy. Keep tabs on what your local competitors are charging for common services and adjust your prices accordingly. However, Don't fall into the trap of constantly trying to undercut the competition. Instead, focus on demonstrating the value you provide through superior service, expertise, and customer experience. Remember, the pricing is not just about the numbers. It's about perception and the overall value proposition you offer to your customers. By developing a thoughtful, customer-centric pricing strategy, you can attract new business, retain existing customers, and build a reputation as a fair and trustworthy service provider in your community. Are you a service manager battling customer retention issues? Well, we've got your solution. Our expert consultants can help you transform your service department into a customer loyalty powerhouse. We'll guide you in optimizing your hours, enhancing phone skills, crafting competitive pricing strategies, and creating a culture of genuine customer care. Say goodbye to lost customers and hello to a thriving service business. Ready to turn things around? Fill out our free consultation form on www.m5ms.com today and start keeping those customers coming back. Now back to the show. We're going to talk about speed and quality next. So in the automotive service industry, speed and quality are not mutually exclusive. They're the twin pillars that support exceptional customer satisfaction. Customers want their vehicles serviced quickly, but they also expect the job to be done right the first time. Balancing these two factors is crucial for retaining customers and building a reputation for excellence. This balance is something we're particularly passionate about at M5. We've helped numerous dealerships implement strategies that boost efficiency without compromising on quality. It's become a bit of a hallmark for us, actually. We love seeing service departments transform, delivering faster service while maintaining or even improving customer satisfaction scores. It's all about smart processes and the right mindset. So let's start with speed. In today's fast-paced world, time is a precious commodity for pretty much everyone. When customers bring their vehicle in for service, they're often working against tight schedules. Whether it's a quick oil change during a lunch break or a more extensive repair that requires leaving the car, customers appreciate efficiency. One of the most effective ways to improve speed is by streamlining your service processes. This begins the moment a customer drives onto your lot. Having a greeter to welcome customers immediately upon arrival can significantly reduce wait times and frustration. This person can quickly assess the customer's needs and direct them to the appropriate service advisor or waiting area. For routine services like oil changes, consider implementing express lanes. These dedicated bays staffed by specialized technicians can dramatically reduce turnaround times. When customers know they can get in and out quickly for basic services, they're more likely to choose your dealership over quick lube competitors. However, speed should never come at the expense of quality. Rushing through jobs to meet time targets can lead to mistakes, oversights, and ultimately dissatisfied customers. The key is to focus on efficiency rather than just raw speed. This means having well-trained technicians who know how to work quickly without cutting corners. Invest in ongoing training for your service team. 
keep them updated on the latest vehicle technologies and service techniques. The more knowledgeable and skilled your technicians are, the more efficiently they can diagnose and address issues. This not only improves speed, but also enhances the quality of the work. Utilize technology to improve both speed and quality. Modern diagnostic tools can quickly identify issues, reducing the time spent on troubleshooting. Digital inspection tools allow technicians to thoroughly document their findings and share them with customers, improving transparency and trust. Quality extends beyond just the technical aspects of service as well. It encompasses the entire customer experience. This includes the cleanliness of your facility, the professionalism of your staff, and the clarity of your communication. A quick service means little if the customer's vehicle is returned dirty or if they don't understand what work was performed. Implement a final quality check process for every vehicle before it's returned to the customer. This can catch any oversights and ensure that the vehicle is clean and ready for the customer. It's an extra step that takes a bit more time, but it can significantly reduce comebacks and improve customer satisfaction. Communication is crucial in managing customer expectations around speed and quality. Be realistic about service times and keep customers informed about the progress of their vehicle. If unexpected issues arise that will extend the service time, communicate this promptly to the customer. Most people are understanding of delays if they're kept in the loop. Consider implementing a text or email notification system that updates customers on the status of their vehicle. This can reduce the number of phone calls your service advisors need to handle and gives the customers peace of mind without them having to reach out. One often overlooked aspect of speed and quality is the checkout process. Having service advisors handle their own cashiering can create a more personal experience and often speeds up the process. The advisor who worked with the customer throughout the service can quickly review the work performed, answer any questions, and complete the transaction efficiently. If your service department is consistently struggling to meet demand while maintaining quality, it might be time to consider expanding your staff. Remember, being understaffed doesn't save money in the long run if it leads to lost customers due to long wait times or rushed subpar work. Regularly seek feedback from your customers about their experience, particularly regarding speed and quality of service. Use surveys, follow-up calls, or even in-person conversations to gather this valuable information. Use this feedback to continually refine and improve your processes. By focusing on both speed and quality, you create a service experience that respects your customer's time while also providing the high-quality work they expect. This combination is powerful in building customer loyalty and setting your dealership apart from the competition. Now, the last topic on our list is customer indifference. In the automotive service industry, perhaps no factor is more detrimental to customer retention than indifference. Customers can forgive the occasional mistake or delay, but they find it hard to overlook a perceived lack of care or interest in their needs. Overcoming indifference is about creating a culture of genuine care and attentiveness that permeates every aspect of your service department. At its core, combating indifference is about recognizing that each customer is an individual with unique needs, concerns, and expectations. It's about moving beyond the transactional nature of service work and building real relationships with your customers. This process begins with your staff. Your service advisors, technicians, and support staff are the face of your dealership and their attitudes directly impact customer perceptions. Hire individuals who genuinely enjoy working with people and have a natural inclination towards customer service. Look for empathy, patience, and good communication skills in addition to technical expertise. Once you have the right team in place, invest in their development. Regular training sessions should go beyond technical skills to include customer service techniques, active listening, and problem solving. Encourage your staff to put themselves in the customer's shoes and consider how they would want to be treated if they were bringing their own vehicle in for service. Create a work environment that supports and rewards customer-centric behavior. Recognize and celebrate staff members who go above and beyond for customers. This could be through formal awards programs, peer recognition systems, or simply by highlighting exceptional service stories in team meetings. When employees see that customer care is valued and rewarded, they're more likely to embody these behaviors consistently. Communication is key in demonstrating care to your customers. Now, this goes beyond just explaining what services are needed or have been performed. It's about keeping customers informed throughout the service process, anticipating their questions, and proactively addressing their concerns. 
Implement a system for regular customer updates. This could be through text messages, emails, or phone calls, depending on your customer's preference. Let them know when their vehicle has been taken into the shop, when the diagnosis is complete, if any unexpected issues are found, and when the work is nearing completion. This level of communication shows that you respect their time and understand that being without their vehicle can be inconvenient. Personalization can go a long way in making customers feel valued as well. Use your customer relationship management or CRM system to track important details about each customer, their vehicle history, service preferences, or even personal notes like birthdays or hobbies if the topics come up. When a customer calls or visits, having this information readily available allows your staff to provide a more personalized experience. Consider implementing a follow-up system for after the service is complete. A quick call or email a few days after the service to ensure everything is satisfactory can make a strong impression. It shows that your care extends beyond just completing the transaction. Proactive service reminders are another way to demonstrate care for your customers. Use your service records to anticipate when customers might need their next oil change, tire rotation, or other routine maintenance. Sending timely, personalized reminders shows that you're thinking about their needs even when they're not actively seeking service. Small gestures can make a big difference in how customers perceive your level of care. Offering amenities like complimentary coffee, comfortable waiting areas with Wi-Fi, or shuttle services to work or home can significantly enhance the service experience. These touches show that you've considered their comfort and convenience. Be attentive to the details that matter to customers. Returning the vehicle clean, even after a minor service, can leave a lasting positive impression. Ensuring that radio presets and seat positions are undisturbed shows respect for the customer's personal space. When issues arise, as they inevitably will, how you handle them can be a powerful demonstration of care. Empower your staff to resolve problems quickly and fairly. A sincere apology, a clear expectation of what went wrong, and a satisfactory solution can turn a negative experience into a positive one that actually strengthens the customer relationship. Consider implementing a customer advisory board or regular feedback sessions where you invite a selection of customers to share their thoughts on your service department. This not only provides valuable insights, but also shows customers that you genuinely value their opinion and are committed to continuous improvement. Remember that overcoming indifference is an ongoing process. It requires consistent effort and attention from everyone in your organization. Regularly reinforce the importance of customer care in team meetings and through your actions as a leader. By creating a culture of genuine care and attentiveness, you can differentiate your service department in a meaningful way. In an industry where customers often feel like just another number, a dealership that truly values its customers and demonstrates that care consistently will stand out and build lasting loyalty. All right, so let's bring all of this together. As we've explored, the top reasons why service department lose customers are inconvenient hours, poor phone skills, uncompetitive pricing, lack of speed and quality, and indifference. It's clear that addressing these issues requires a holistic approach. Each of these factors are interconnected, and improvements in one area often lead to positive impacts in others. For instance, extending your hours of operation not only increases convenience for customers, but also provides more opportunities for your staff to demonstrate excellent phone skills and build relationships. Competitive pricing combined with high-quality, efficient service creates a value proposition that customers find hard to resist. And underpinning it all, a genuine care for customers' needs and experiences can turn routine service visits into opportunities to build lasting loyalty. Implementing changes in these areas may seem daunting, but it's important to remember that even small improvements can make a significant difference. Start by assessing your current performance in each area. Use customer feedback, employee insights, and industry benchmarks to identify your strengths and weaknesses. Prioritize the areas that need the most immediate attention, but keep in mind that a balanced approach is key. For example, drastically cutting prices without ensuring quality and efficiency could lead to unsustainable practices. Similarly, extending hours without properly training staff to handle increased volume could result in poor customer experiences. Involve your entire team in the improvement process. Frontline staff often have very valuable insights into customer pain points and potential solutions. 
By engaging them in the change process, you're more likely to gain buy-in and create a sense of ownership that drives consistent implementation. Set clear goals and metrics for each area of improvement. This might include targets for customer satisfaction scores, average service times, appointment booking rates, or customer retention percentages. Regularly review these metrics and be prepared to adjust your strategies as needed. Invest in the tools and technologies that can support your improvement efforts. This might include upgrading your phone systems, implementing new scheduling software, or adopting digital inspection tools. While there may be upfront costs, the long-term benefits in terms of efficiency and customer satisfaction can be substantial. Remember that building a customer-centric service department is an ongoing process. Customer expectations evolve, new competitors emerge, and industry trends shift. Stay attuned to these changes and be willing to adapt your strategies accordingly. Finally, celebrate your successes along the way. When you see improvements in customer retention, positive feedback, or staff performance, acknowledge and reward these achievements. This not only motivates your team, but also reinforces the behaviors and practices that drive customer satisfaction. By addressing these key areas, convenience, communication, pricing, speed and quality, and genuine care, you can create a service department that not only retains customers, but turns them into loyal advocates for your dealership. In a competitive industry where customers have more choices than ever, this customer-centric approach can be your most powerful differentiator. So are you a service manager, fixed ops director, or general manager looking to stop the customer exodus? You need Rose Plus, the game-changing software that's your secret weapon in customer retention. With seamless DMS integration, Rose Plus gives you a 360-degree view of your service department, helping you optimize hours, enhance phone skills, craft competitive pricing, and build genuine customer relationships. Elevate advisor performance, make data-driven decisions, and find that sweet spot between speed and quality of service. Ready to turn the tide on customer loss? Visit www.m5ms.com to learn more and request a demo today by filling out our free consultation form. Now, before we go, it's time for this week's homework. We've created a comprehensive implementation guide for service managers on enhancing customer retention. This guide covers all the key points we've discussed today, including optimizing convenience, enhancing phone skills, crafting competitive pricing strategies, balancing speed and quality, and overcoming customer indifference. Each section includes detailed explanations, pro tips, potential tripping points, and thought starters to help you put these ideas into action. It's available in the show notes and on our website, www.m5ms.com under the Driving Insights section. You'll see the episode list and a link to download the full implementation guide. This resource is packed with actionable insights to help you transform your service department into a customer retention powerhouse. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for listening. I've been your host, Tim Harkins, brand manager here at M5 Management Services. As always, if you have any questions or topic suggestions or maybe interested in how M5 could help your fixed operations department, please contact us on our website, www.m5ms.com. Make sure to tune in next time where we'll talk about more industry topics that will help drive your fixed operations department to increased efficiency, customer retention, and long-term profitability. Thank you, everyone. This has been Driving Insights.